My name is Jeremy Walton and I'm going to show you how to use neat video for noise reduction and flicker removal. Let's go! As filmmakers, we've all come across clips that have a ton of noise and the dreaded flicker. You scramble and search the internet for a solution. Don't worry, we have a solution and it's called Neat Video. I previously did a video on this plugin using my R3 and Red Komodo, so if you're getting started, check that out. I'm going to focus on one clip I would normally just discard because of the noise and flickering. This is going to be super simple and straightforward, so you can follow along and see what Neat Video version 5.6 can do in Premiere Pro. Here's the clip we will be working with that I shot on my Canon R3. I'm shooting through an airplane window. A lot going on here. Let me enable these two right here. I only made two slight adjustments in exposure and contrast. I'm basically clipping in the shadows right in this area and obviously this light is blown out. There's a lot of reflections. This is the TV screen and when I played the clip we have a slight flicker. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. There are lights everywhere. We have reflections. I'm shooting through a window. On first glance, I'm like, nope, let's move on. But as we will see, neat video will make some drastic improvements. The first thing I want to do is tackle noise in beginner mode. I'm going to show how easy this can be. Then move to advanced mode, address the noise again, and the flicker. Simple and easy. That's what we're sticking to. Let's go to effects, type in neat video, and drag and drop. So far, so good. Click prepare, click build, and let neat video do its thing. Once complete, all we have to do is hit auto profile. In a few seconds, we have a good noise level. Quality is high. If you're in the 90s, that's extremely good. We will go to profile check. Just click on the screen to see the before and after. It's made a big difference. Below the frame is the different channels and you can see how well it's reduced the noise. You can make some minor adjustments with the noise level slider, but in most cases, you won't have to change anything. That's why I like this plugin. It's very simple to use in most cases. A few clicks and you can move on. Now we're gonna look at the advanced features to tackle noise and the flicker. We are back in neat video. Right here is beginner mode. Just select it and go to advanced. You can still use auto profile, but this time I'm going to do it manually. This is very uniform with no objects in the frame. A sky is usually a good option. Then we'll build our profile and go to profile check. On the right is our quality and noise levels, and we can click here for our noise level, channels, and our frequencies. Let's drag this down a bit and zoom in. Let's say, for example, you see some more noise you'd like to clean up. Well, you just have to drag the slider and you can see the change. I can go back the other way and you can see the noise returns. These are the adjustments you have control over. It's the same for frequencies. At the top right here, you can see there was a good amount of high frequencies taken out. If it was a bit too much, you can dial it back right here. And let's say you want the ultra low frequencies to be bumped up. Just slide and you'll see the change. All of this gives you way more control over what Neat Video is doing. A lot of this will depend on what you're trying to clean up. We have a night shot, but that's going to be different from filming a person or an interview compared to an exterior shot. Every scene will have something unique to it that if you want, you can tweak in the advanced settings. On to the flickering. We're going to go to adjust and preview and click on filter settings check. We're going to start with a noise level check. You can see most of this is blue. That's what we want. And it looks this way because we don't have any movement objects. If we did, we would have to dial back this noise level to give more attention to moving objects. So for us, this is good to go. Back at the top, we're moving on to local flicker check. Now this is where things get a little more interesting. We can hit play all and see the flicker. This is a tough scene. What you have to do is adjust the local flicker. If I move it all the way to the right, it will only affect the brightest flicker, which will be the flashing lights as you can see. That's not what we want. I'm going to dial it back down to zero and call it good. This might be something you need to test out depending on the clip. All you need to do now is hit apply. I hope that wasn't too difficult. It might look a little intimidating at first, but it can still be simple. When you want to tackle advanced mode, it will be a case by case situation. Every shot will have specific needs. Maybe start with beginner mode and work your way up from there. This is my raw clip I started with, then on to a simple grade and finishing everything off with neat video. This clip started off being something I would never use to something that would work in any of my B-roll sequences. 
I will always say get the best image you can in camera. A little tip is always shoot something a couple times if you have the time. A shot like this, I would have bumped up the exposure just a tad to be safe. Luckily, we have neat video to help us out when we need it. If you're interested, head over to their website and download a free trial to use on your footage and see what kind of results you can achieve. Another useful tool to use in your filmmaking journey. Well, there you have it, using neat video for noise reduction and flicker removal. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button because there's definitely more on the way. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Leave a comment if you have questions. Until next time, it's a wrap.